Hi dreamers, my name is Nathan Bryan and I'm the author of Look Up and the author of our brand new book, Clean Up, which is out on the 23rd of July. Now, both of these books are illustrated by my good friend and incredible illustrator, Dapo Adiola. And today, I have a super sneak peek for all of you. We're gonna read the first four pages of our brand new book, Clean Up. And I thought, you know, as Rocket's on our summer holidays, I should at least pretend that I'm on mine with this amazing weather. All right, so if you've got any, you know, Hawaiian shirts on, go put them on and let's get ready for our sneak peek of our story. I can't sleep tonight. I'm too excited because tomorrow, me, my mum and my big brother Jamal are going on holiday to see Grammy and Grampy. It feels as though we've been packing forever, but at last we're ready to go. I'm gonna be fist bumping a turtle, dancing with a dolphin, high-fiving an octopus and surfing the waves like the awesome Imani Wilmot. Did you know Imani Wilmot created the first female surf competition in Jamaica? As soon as we arrive, I give Grammy and Grampy a huge hug. I'm just loving all the birds just sat on the Animal Sanctuary sign. And it just really makes me want to be on a beach. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. And that is a sneak peek of cleanup. Now, I hand over to Dapo, who's going to show us how to draw Rocket. Hey, dreamers. I'm Dapo Adiola, and I am the illustrator of Look Up and the upcoming picture book, Clean Up, which is the sequel to Look Up. Okay, so today we're gonna be drawing Rocket. I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw Rocket from our picture book. Um, what you're gonna need, a nice little sheet of paper, and you need a pencil, nice and sharp, and a rubber as well, just in case you make any mistakes, okay? So I'm gonna start off with two circles. Now, while you're drawing, always make sure that you're drawing really softly so that if you do have to rub anything out, it's not too difficult, okay? So two circles I start off with. Right, nice and light lines and then in the middle of those two circles I am going to put Rocket's nose okay and then two little dots inside for her nostrils and then I'm going to join the two circles here like this and that's the frame for her glasses and now I'm going to draw the inside frame and that's just another two circles on the inside of these circles again just keeping it quite light not pressing too hard on the pencil we're gonna to get to press harder on the pencil in a second right those are her glasses bring that frame and now we're gonna draw her eyes so two slightly bigger dots on the inside and you press down a bit more on these now not too hard but just enough to black them out and then her eyebrows Now we're gonna join the two glasses together by drawing the bottom of her face. And we go to either end and we just draw a nice, tight, loose semicircle going from one end to the other, okay? Right, and now we're gonna add her ears. We go to the bottom, the place where the glasses connects with the face and we draw a curve like this on that side and then a curve like that on the other side and then we draw her star earrings on each ear if you're struggling with this you can always ask an adult to help you draw the stars okay nice star earrings on each ear now we're gonna add her hair now she's got three braids on either side that lead to the top so that's one and two and this is braid number three coming up 
and they all lead to the top of her head. Group number one on this side. Number two. And final braid on this side, braid number three. Okay, and now in the middle, we've got Rocket's nice big curly bundle of hair. All right, so for this bit, just keep the pencil marks nice and circled, almost like you're scribbling. Okay, there we go. nice and loose. And then we come back to add the strands to her braids, just nice straight scribble lines. Right, there we go. Now that's done, we're gonna come back down to the bottom of her chin, draw two straight lines like this, and that's her neck, right? And then to connect her neck, or to cap off the neck area, we're gonna draw her collar, which comes round two curves just under her chin, and then the bottom of the collar, which is another bigger curve, like that. And then inside that, we draw the zip, zig, zag, zig. And now we can black this area out. Now we're gonna finish this off by adding her smile, okay? So I'm gonna give her an open mouth smile for this. So a curve just under her nose and in between each uh, lens on her glasses. Curve like that and then curve on the outside and then a curve across the bottom. And then curve on the outside there. And now we're gonna add her teeth, the one tooth hair famous gap and then a curve across the bottom for her tongue and then we black this out and now we're going to add the finishing touch just blush just hair you can always get someone remember really light with this but you can always get someone to help you go you know you do this and make it really light Right, and then one last little touch, just the curls of her hair at the bottom. Yeah. And there is how we draw a rocket from the picture book look up. Really looking forward to seeing what you guys send, okay? Enjoy. So you guys sent in some questions for Dapo and I, and I think it's only right that we try and answer them. That is a great question. I think my favourite astronaut has to be Mae Jameson, and that's why she ended up in Look Up. Um, she is an incredible human being and has done loads of amazing things, so get on the Google and check her out. Um, do I know any personally? Sadly not, but if you know any, send them my way. I would like some astronaut friends. All over the place. Um, my ideas, they come to me from all over the place. I think the best way to get ideas is to take in as much information and just as much knowledge as you possibly can read. Like a lot of them come from stuff I've read, stuff I've watched on TV, but yeah, that's where my ideas generally come from. That is a brilliant question. I do have to clean up my room. Um, I don't often want to clean up my room. I sometimes wish I could just click my finger and my room would just clean up. Maybe that's my next book about a kid who clicks his fingers and his room just cleans up. It'll be a short story, very short, but you get the drift. Again, this 
right here is my big dream. I've always wanted to draw books for a living and you know reach do, do work that reaches people and yeah this is my big dream i have loads of dreams actually uh a i would why well, i have loads of dreams i don't even know where to start um but being able to tell stories for the rest of my life would be amazing so i'm gonna keep on that one and that we can all love each other and be kind and that we treat everybody equally that'd be my Big, big dream. Ooh, that's really hard. Um, ice cream. Ice cream. Honestly, it's, it's the worst. I probably couldn't. It'd probably be really bad for me, but ice cream is the one thing that I would eat for the rest of my life if I could. Now, if you know me, the one thing I would eat for the rest of my life would be chicken wings. I'm talking any kind, any flavor, any sauce, any style. Just, I can eat chicken wings every day. I want to eat chicken wings every day. So if you have a job in a chicken wing factory as somebody who is just a taster, I will do that. The penguin let me. So thanks for all your amazing questions. <laughs> um, I really, really appreciate them. And I hope my answers added up. Thanks for joining us, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed yourself. If you want to share anything that you've done in today's session, uh, your doodles, dreams, drawings, anything that you've done inspired by today's session, feel free to do so using the hashtag PuffinDreamer, okay? All right, bye.